to this webinar organized by DocCity in partnership with Embryon Business School. Uh, today we have your chance to become an influential decision maker and we are going uh, to present the Master of Science in International Marketing and Business Development by Embryon Business School. My name is Lucia from DocCity and I welcome you to this uh, free webinar organized in partnership with Embryon Business School. Today we will have a great panel uh, with Marie Christine Collier. She's the program director. We also have uh, the testimonials of students that will be joining us. Um, they're already here. Hi, Baptiste. Hi, Carla. Thank you very much for being here with us tonight. They are currently uh, in Vietnam doing uh, one of the phases of the program, and they will tell us everything about that uh, when the presentation starts. Um, also, Mohan uh, Rewet, uh, he's uh, an advisor for the French government, so um, he will be joining this panel also in a couple of minutes, and he will tell us everything um, about the program and about how to be a uh, professional in this field. So we are very glad to uh, have them all here. Just bear with us for a couple of minutes. We have people joining from so many different countries in the world, so... Let's give a chance uh, to everyone to uh, to log in, to be comfortable, and to start uh, joining the presentation. So as I said before, my name is Lucia from DocCity. I will be the presenter of this webinar um, titled Your Chance to Become an Influential Decision Maker. This webinar is organized in partnership with M. Leon Business School, and we are going to present the Master of Science in International Marketing and Business Development. Uh, we have a luxury panel today uh, with Marie Christine Collier. She's the program director. Uh, we will always we will also have Baptiste uh, and Carla that you are seeing at this moment uh, on your screen. There are students. They are currently in Vietnam during the third phase of Amnon of this uh, program. They will tell us everything about it uh, just in a minute. And also Mohan Huet. Um, hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Will be joining us in a couple of minutes uh, to be part of the panel and tell us everything about the program and about the um, this highly growing field. So, um, without further ado, while we wait for the rest of the participants to join, I would like to invite to Marie Christine and the rest of the panel to start the presentation. So the floor is yours. So welcome everyone. Uh, we are really very happy to have you here uh, joining uh, our webinar, uh, presenting our um, uh, MSc International Marketing and Business Development. And I'm very, very pleased to uh, introduce uh, Carla, honor to the woman. Carla uh, is uh, one of our students and uh, uh, also Baptiste, who is, who is uh, also one of our students. Um, uh, I would like to point out the fact that most of our students and the majority of our students are foreigners. But uh, in this webinar, um, they are only French, although we have international uh, audience uh, in this MSc. So um, what I propose right now is um, uh, to present uh, pro the program. I have prepared some uh, slides so that uh, you can understand what's the problem, what, what's the program about. And then uh, I will uh, let uh, Carla and Baptiste uh, talk about the program or, or the, this program uh, further on. So I will uh, share my screen. Uh, do you see my screen? Baptiste, Carla, do you see my screen? So the other ones will do also. Okay, so it's a MSc. Uh, and um, it's um, it's uh, all about international marketing and business development. Uh, we have a program team, so um, I would like uh, to introduce our uh, pedagogical coordinator, uh, who is uh, Mihaela Balta, and myself, my Christine Collier, as a program director. So um, uh, we um, we uh, this is a master of science. It's approved by the Conference des Grandes Écoles, and uh, we uh, recruit students uh, from uh, holding a four-year bachelor degree. Altogether, it it's uh, two hundred and forty uh, credits, and um, we also recruit three-year bachelor's degree and altogether one hundred and eighty credits. Uh, the design of this program, as I wrote, is a nine, uh, 18 month uh, 
including uh, 12 month uh, tuition and international sales and uh, six to uh, four to six months internship. So altogether, it will be 120 credits. This year, we had uh, 61 students. It was our first year. And uh, this uh, following year, uh, 2023, uh, we're going to have uh, around 140 students. So, um, um, uh, so uh, the, um, uh, the program is delivered in Lyon. It's uh, in a very nice uh, uh, region, a very uh, business-oriented region, but also um, very much oriented towards uh, gastronomy. Uh, 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 business and uh, a great, uh, a great. Uh, well, it's a great place to live in. <laughs> good food, good wine, and uh, nice weather. And it's in the center of Europe. You can uh, travel anywhere, everywhere you want, uh, anywhere. Uh, you can go skiing in uh, two hours, going to the seaside, two hours and a half. It's really a wonderful place to be. And then uh, we, um, in December 2023, you're gonna. Uh, Yes, 2023, you're going to have an international seminar. It's uh, going to be in Sweden this year in Stockholm. And then you're going to go for your third period. I mean, the, the, uh, the very last time of the year, you're going to go to uh, Vietnam for an international term. And something is in preparation something else. So the main goals of this uh, MSc IMBD and the professional perspective. So um, the ambition of this program is the, to guide you to become a key actor in uh, marketing and business development. And uh, it will uh, enable you uh, to work in international um, environment. So you will learn how to maximize the value creation of companies, how to increase uh, its global performance. And uh, of course, taking into account Account, uh, uh, many challenges such as uh, social, environmental, but also um, technological and geopolitical uh, evolution. Um, uh, when you enter this uh, MSc program, you will get um, many key competencies. You will acquire many key competencies uh, in marketing and business development. And uh, these uh, three skills have uh, three main dimensions. The first one is a strategic dimension because uh, our academic uh, our academic uh, environment is great. We have teachers and speakers specialized and uh, highly qualified in their uh, subject, and they will give you academic uh, models and performing methodologies. Uh, the second uh, dimension is a uh, managerial dimension. You will acquire knowledge and adapt your behavior to manage uh, uh, international uh, project and teams. And uh, the third dimension is operational because you'll have a lot of case studies, field studies, um, internship, and to implement everything that you've learned. And uh, all this taking in consideration three main um, aspects. So international and interculturality, uh, that's what um, uh, Carla and Baptiste uh, could uh, talk about later on because uh, uh, this program is really international. Uh, because uh, we recruit international students, uh, uh, you work abroad, you work in France, but you work abroad. And you get uh, 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 tuition from uh, international te teachers. Everything is uh, really much uh, international. And so um, it's, uh, it means that there is a lot of interculturality because you have to be in contact with uh, international foreign students, foreign people all the time. Um, it has, um, you will take it, um, I mean, uh, the, this program takes in consideration also uh, innovation and new technologies because you're gonna work on uh, 
um, entrepreneurship and uh, innovative entrepreneurship and new technologies. We have uh, some uh, courses on uh, artificial intelligence on digital marketing, all this stuff. And uh, it will take also, um, it, it takes also in consideration uh, the social and environmental responsibilities and everything that has to do with ethics and uh, sustainability and uh, it's uh, really uh, goals that we are we are it's uh, our goals to uh, uh, follow the uh, uh, this uh, responsibility social responsibility and environmental uh, responsibility and uh, uh, so the second part, um, uh, I am talking about, I, I'm going to talk about this, uh, the professional perspectives. And uh, this IMBD program uh, uh, is aimed to meet the expectation of companies. And Mohan is going to, um, Mohan, who will join us in a few minutes, uh, will uh, talk to us about companies uh, uh, about talents. Um, we need international marketer, we need international business developers, and a good, uh, a good international business people who understand con consumption patterns in uh, various uh, markets. And these companies are looking for talents. It's been uh, it's been a long time ago when I was uh, studying uh, uh, 40 years ago. Uh, our teachers and uh, the company were telling us that a lot of companies uh, were missing uh, international business developers. And 40 years ago, it's still the same. Uh, we need international business developers. And so um, this IMBG, and I will let uh, Cla Carla and Baptiste talk about, uh, meets the ex expectations of uh, students who want to have uh, uh, responsibilities in international marketing and business development. Um, and they want to go to promote their employability and quick access to high positions through the acquisition and the development of operational skills. And that's what you'll get uh, joining our program. Uh, uh, because uh, the contents um, of the program uh, and its dynamics bring together the needs of uh, economic actors with the student's population uh, who is uh, willing to quickly endorse significant operational responsibilities. And this, uh, in terms of strategy in international market and the amount of complex marketing and commercial programs, project, uh, uh, everything, I mean, all this uh, um, uh, answering, uh, um, responding to a global challenge. So uh, joining our program, you'll be able to, uh, to get some uh, jo job position uh, in any fields. Uh, that's what uh, Baptiste and Clara, uh, Carla will talk about later on. You can be brand managers, product managers, category managers, international business developer, sales engineer, country or regional managers, sales manager, key account managers, partnership managers, because um, I will talk to you uh, later on about this, but uh, I recruit and we recruit um, talents personalities. I recruit uh, people uh, from um, uh, engineer, engineering sites. Uh, there are some engineers in our program and some legal people, people that are jurists, of course, people who are a pharmaceutician, uh, people who are um, all kind of engineering and people, of course, coming from uh, so people having masters already and people also um, being in bachelor programs. And so um, according to your uh, talent and your capabilities and competency, I mean, capabilities, abilities, I should say, uh, you will, um, you will um, quick, you can also quickly apply to very high positions, such as uh, marketing director, sales director or interns. It will depend on your uh, own, also your own competencies. Then, um, 
So now I'm going to talk about the academic and experiential framework and core competencies that, that you're going to have. So when, I have a, when we have a look on the academic uh, and experiential framework, our, um, our program for the first year is uh, divided in uh, periods. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the two years are the one year and a half is divided in uh, four different uh, periods. The first one is um, before, I mean, uh, in August, uh, before September, before the uh, you are doing the program, it will be e-learning mostly. And uh, it will be a period of time that you can cope with uh, uh, what you don't, do not know. So it will be like a summer school. It's uh, remotely. Then uh, you join us uh, physically. Uh, in September, and uh, during this first period, you will, you will be uh, uh, creating, you will learn how to create a company and uh, create uh, a right new business models for the future. Then you will acquire all the fundamentals of marketing and business development. And at the end of the first period, meaning it will be December, you will go to an international seminar and I will let Baptiste also and Carla uh, talk to you about what they have learned during this, uh, this uh, international seminar. Then you will enter the second period and the second period will be a focus on focused on advanced techniques of marketing and innovation and strategic business development. Uh, you will uh, go um, uh, in details, in depth into uh, all these uh, subjects. Then starting uh, April, as uh, Baptiste and Carla are living uh, right now in uh, Vietnam, uh, this is a specific market approach that they are uh, experiencing right now because uh, they are uh, having a tuition and discovery of Asian markets and in Vietnam. And uh, the, there, they are also working on an in-company project. They are working for a company over there and uh, uh, exploring uh, new problematics for them and trying and find some solution. Then uh, they will be, when they will, uh, when they come back from uh, Vietnam, they will start, um, they will have some vacation because uh, they, will, they have during the year, they have uh, 720 hours, tuition hours, and it's a lot. But instead of 330 normally, so they are um, having a lot of tuition time, but they will tell us about uh, their energy <laughs> and it's not that hard, but they learn a lot. And uh, starting the fourth period uh, will be the internship, of course, and uh, the master thesis period because they will have to to uh, write their master thesis because they will uh, be uh, defending all this uh, at the end of the year to be able to be graduated in February 24. So the core competencies they are uh, studying and they are acquiring uh, during uh, this uh, program uh, is about marketing. They will have a global vision, uh, how to, uh, I mean, the use, the organization and the missions of marketing. Then they will, they have a thorough analytics competencies on market studies, consumer behaviors, price policy, international trade techniques, etc. And they are also uh, studying the future trends of marketing and ethics and sustainability. Concerning business development, they will ha they have they um, have a strategic thinking and managerial approach. They will understand uh, the purchasing, the sales force management, all this stuff, and they will have also all the operational competencies such as negotiation and selling. The third block of competencies uh, is about international strategies. So they will understand the uh, international markets, uh, the law, uh, the economy, the geopolitics, and they will focus on Asian, Asian markets. And uh, they have acquired also all the methods to be efficient in the intercultural environment. And uh, the last but not least, they have uh, courses about innovation. They will uh, they understand the new technologies that, uh, thanks to data analysis, uh, artificial intelligence, and leverage the best practices to perform. 
and they're also uh, working together on a project um, and on projects uh, to get a collective creativity process to work uh, within a collective creativity process as um, in innovation basics. Okay, so I will stop uh, sharing my screen because I would like uh, uh, my dear student, my uh, dear student to uh, to talk. And um, so, um, Baptiste and Clara, I would like you to express about uh, why did Ah, oh, bonjour, Moran. Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Moran. Thank you for joining us. Um, may I introduce you, Moran? Sure. Yes. So I'm very uh, happy and proud to welcome Moran uh, Rewet. Um, Moran um, is um, um, the president uh, of uh, the Foreign Trade Advisors to the French government in the Aura reg region. Um, and uh, maybe, Moran, you can express what are the uh, foreign trade advisors to the French government? Sure. Uh, thank you, Mary christine for the invitation. Uh, very happy to, to be with you uh, uh, today. Well, the French trade advisors is mostly having four missions. The first one is really to help um, French companies to export around the world and, uh, and grow the business uh, anywhere internationally. So that's uh, one of the first missions. The second mission is how to attract uh, investments uh, in order to produce and, and create uh, value creations uh, on, on the French market. Uh, the third one is, um, uh, which is actually the initial one of, uh, of our French trade advisors, is really to help governments with strategies and policies around the world and how to better understand uh, economic uh, influence uh, any countries around the world. Last but not least, and this is why I'm finishing with this one, is how to uh, connect with talents because we need talents. If we want to grow businesses, we need people like you uh, to join and, and um, seek for opportunities. And we are very happy to give like uh, young talents opportunities around the world, either in our companies in France, but also uh, in your countries where you uh, initially come from. And, uh, and that's what we do at, uh, at the French Trade Advisors. Yes, thank you, Mohan. And I would like to point out also that you are an entrepreneur. Uh, you have a very nobody's perfect. Yes, <laughs> you have a very uh, uh, very successful professional path. Would you mind uh, telling telling us about uh, uh, your new business? I mean, a new business, uh, Mercedes. Uh, tell us about what you are doing, and um, please. Yeah, so so Mircens is uh, headquartered in Lyon in France. We also work, uh, we have uh, offices in Paris uh, and we work anywhere in the world. Uh, we are uh, a company around uh, environmental intelligence. So we use satellite data uh, from to in order, in order to monitor the environment anywhere in the world, any types of pollutions. And based on that, we discuss and define what are the strategies to reduce those pollutions and to avoid chronic disease or sickness or disease for people around the world. So let me give you one or two examples. For example, uh, for cities, we are able to model, like you can see behind me, sorry, here, uh, we can model the environment. And for example, a city wants to move from four lines of cars to two lines of cars and two lines of bicycles. Then we will model the environment. Will it, will it actually improve the, the air quality by doing that? Yes or no? And this is what we can do for, for them. Uh, we work also for people like Chanel, where they we, we use the data, for example, for China, and we modelize the environment around you. And based on that, we can tell you what are the impact for your skin. So this is the kind of uh, use cases that uh, that uh, our customers are using in terms of uh, environmental intelligence. And this is growing very fast anywhere in the world, because as you know, we are more and more concerned about the environment and more and more concerned about the health and well-being of people. Thank you, Mohan. I was um, thank you for your for your presentation. I was uh, presenting. I, I just finished presenting our uh, MSc International Marketing and Business Development, and I was saying that um, we uh, we respond to uh, two big concerns. The one of the companies who want to attract talents uh, uh, to so that uh, uh, these talents uh, help uh, companies maximize their value creation and. Uh, uh, foster their global performance. And uh, on the other side, uh, it answers uh, the needs of students who want to have 
a very good position, very high position in uh, linked to uh, marketing and, uh, and uh, business development. And so, uh, Moran, according to, um, I will let uh, also our students talking a few minutes. Uh, I, I would, um, I would like you to express in uh, what extent uh, do uh, the companies right now still need a lot of business de international business developers and international marketers? Why is it uh, so uh, crucial today? Uh, would you mind uh, answering this question right now? Yeah. Well. First, you have, you have to understand that most companies, when they want when they want to be sustainable, they need to ensure that they are not just on one market. They need to be on multiple markets, because for for by by taking this approach and making sure that you do business in France, maybe in Italy, maybe in uh, in the US, maybe in China, allows you to avoid those risks related to market driven uh, situations. Um, that's the first point. And in order to address those markets, you need talents. And you need more and more talents coming from those particular countries because we want to be local. And, and you cannot just be French in the US, you cannot be French in Italy, or you cannot be French in China. It's always better to leverage on students which are actually coming from those countries, learning the values and, and, and the, 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 the business of our companies in order to adapt, address, and, uh, and deploy solutions uh, to, to those specific markets. And that's why we need people who, who knows a lot of languages and people who understand the cultures of other countries because we need to adapt our product. Um, and, and by doing that, we need those talents to, to join our companies. As you know, today, um, uh, we are lacking of resources. Um, the companies which are successful today are the ones that can attract talents and they have to attract diversity of talents. You cannot only use French people. You cannot only use Italian or Chinese. You need to have different types of resources because it's actually as a group, as a team, that you generate uh, further values. And that's why today we are looking more and more for business development people in order to grow those specific markets and also people for marketing. And in marketing, there's a huge revolution right now. There's a huge revolution people have to change. They have to embrace other challenges related to the environment, related to the energy. And every company has to evolve and modify what they used to be a success for the past in order to embrace the success for the future. And that's why we need those talents. That's why we are. We will be very happy to have you here in Lyon and, uh, and to, uh, to be able to join our companies. There's a lot of opportunities. Uh, usually you start here in France uh, within the companies. And then after uh, six months or maybe uh, less than that or one year, then you can be expatriate and move on to other countries because you need to bring your value to the other uh, parts of the world. So I don't know if I'm answering your question, Mary Christine, but this yes, is my belief. Yes, that's right. That's great. And, uh, uh, and uh, thank God we haven't talked together. That's exactly what I wanted you to say. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mary Christine. <laughs> so now I'll be happy if uh, Carla and Baptiste, you express also uh, telling us what was your motivation joining the program and it, to which extent did the program answer your needs and uh, your expectations? Uh, Baptiste, tu veux ou? <laughs> okay. So to talk about my motivation, of course, the fact that the EM Lyon is maybe one of the best schools in Europe. And I also want to highlight the fact that this program is specialized in two, um, in two areas. The first one is international business. The second one is business development. And due to that, a lot of people from other countries, like I think we have more than 50 nationalities in the master. So it's really uh, international in and intercultural. Like I've talked, I've been talking to Indian people, Chinese people, people from uh, America or people, people from all over the world. And uh, I also want to talk about the level of tuition that we had in, uh, in Lyon and in uh, Vietnam. We always had people with uh, a PhD or really specialized in what the, they were talking about. It was really, interesting talking with them because they're not they are not just here to to lecture us they are just here to talk with us to to accompany us to what we want to do in our future in our future jobs uh, i will also talk about the international seminar that we had in sweden because i think it's one of the best things we did in all this program even if we did a lot of things the fact that we had to focus ourselves to to meet 
uh, new companies like uh, Bambooser. We had um, a meeting with Air France in Sweden. So it was really interesting for us. And we even talked to the government, to, to the deputies in Sweden. So we we did a lot of markets, a lot of studies in the in the Nordic markets, in the French market, and even in the Asian market now, since uh, Carla is working with uh, L'Oréal and me, I'm working with uh, Andros in Asia. So we are helping them. So yeah, this were my motivation and I wasn't ready for, um, I have to say it's the amount of, uh, of work we have to do because we have to work a lot. Like uh, we have to be organized, we had to, because when the, um, the exam are coming, we needed to be really prepared for what happened, but it was really good a good help between all the people. Um, yes, uh, I, I love, I liked this this program and the, the the facts that all the people were connecting together. Thank you, Baptiste. It's uh, it's nice. Uh, thank you for expressing uh, uh, your your feeling. And you, Carla. Yes. Uh, so first, I was also hesitating between marketing and business development, and it was the first master I found uh, which combined both. That's so that's like perfect. And um, for me, it was also really important that it was full English. So the fact that we're welcoming a lot of people, we're learning from their culture is really like enriching for us. And um, First, the academic experience is really nice because uh, we have a lot of different classes in entrepreneurship, marketing, negotiation, and sales. And uh, as you said, Marie-Christine, in the first semester, we have uh, the class uh, TEM, so Transforming Early Makers. And um, I really like this one because it's it allows you to... Um, to create your own business you're in a group of six people you don't choose the person so you can you you learn how to work as in a company and uh, you have the chance at the end of the semester to present your business in front of a lot of investors so that was really challenging for us and i was also specialized in entrepreneurship before so it allows me to to continue with that and also to learn a lot of uh, competencies in marketing and business development too and I also choose this master because it's a really open door one um, because I'm into luxury and it's uh, not like a problem for me to not to be specialized in luxury because for example in Vietnam I can work with L'Oréal and um, after that I will do an internship in luxury too so you can be specialized in a lot of things and still be in this master so yeah, and for me, the, exper the academic experience is important, but uh, the human one is also like, um, yeah, really important. And you have the international se seminar to travel and also the, um, the academic experience that we have here in Vietnam. You can meet a lot of people, create a network. And uh, yeah, we have also free time uh, in Vietnam to discover the culture. And in Sweden, we had two. So yeah, I think it's really enriching. And also in France, I, uh, I, uh, I've seen that I, I've seen uh, all these students, these 60 students, they were really uh, close together and they learned a lot. And uh, uh, we, this mix of uh, different cultures and uh, different uh, uh, academic background also was very uh, rich and interesting. I've uh, learned that a lot of students, they had uh, every week, they have different food uh, joining, uh, they, they join. I mean, it's like this uh, IMBD program is like a big family. Uh, that's what I feel because they are really very close together. They're enjoying life. They are inviting each other and uh, sharing their opinion and uh, uh, sharing their culture and also helping each other. There are a lot of, uh, you, are, you are backing you up. And also uh, when you study, I've, uh, you make a lot of projects. And uh, uh, can you uh, tell, uh, say something about this? The way uh, the way you work in project, the way uh, you, you you work together, and multicultural uh, management, in fact. Yeah, exactly. So uh, to each uh, each classes we had, we had to to do yeah one project for each classes, 
it was a negotiation, like Carla said, or them. I think it's the biggest one in the um, in the master. Where during it was one month, we have to create from A to Z. That's how we say it in France. Like all the, the uh, startup, for example, uh, I created with my group a thing that's called uh, Easybility, and Carla created something like I don't know if you uh, know Yuka for the the luxury. So it was really interesting. And uh, to each classes, we have to do something like that to to propose something new for for people or to to create something with a group of people that we don't know at the beginning of the year or at the beginning of the project. And we are more close, uh, we are closer uh, at the end of this project. So this is where I met like a lot of my friends right now uh, in these projects uh, that are from uh, everywhere in the world. So it's uh, it's really something nice to learn from them and to to mix the, the cultures. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Baptiste. Do you want to add anything, Carla? So I know, Carla, that you are uh, concerning the, the internship. I know, Clara, that you are, Carla, that you are going to work for a very famous brand. And uh, I was really very, very struck to see that all the students, they have wonderful internships. They are really having uh, wonderful jobs. I mean, uh, internships. And for some of them, they really have uh, future jobs and in very well-known brands and uh, any, in any fields in the industry. And Moran, you can talk about uh, uh, maybe uh, the field of the industry because France is pushing very hard the uh, industry right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, the industry is one of our ma major topic uh, right now as part of what we call the France 2030. Uh, so a uh, lot of uh, billions of dollars are reinvested in France to uh, uh, to reindustrialize our, our uh, regions uh, because that's the first way to export. If you don't produce something, you cannot export. So that's why uh, there's a major plan driven by uh, our president. Uh, so back to some of the questions that I've seen in the Q&R, uh, people are mostly from the EMEO going to uh, private companies and, and not... Uh, um, government uh, projects. I think it's, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, Mary Christine, but at least from the initial point of view that I'm representing today, uh, we are mostly uh, attracted by talents coming from EM Lyon, which is the best school uh, around uh, around us uh, in, in Lyon. Uh, and um, and today there's around 135,000 companies which are exporting across the world. And it's growing very fast right now uh, all over France. And that's why they need talents to 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 join because, as I said earlier, uh, the industry uh, um, required more and more resources to change their industries today. Uh, we are coming from an industry where it was like a very carbon driven, uh, where we have to move on to zero carbon driven, and therefore there is a lot of change to be done. And and it's not the big guys old like me uh, that can actually do it. It's you guys who are young who can change the mindset and and help those industries to. Uh, to step up to uh, to the challenges that we are facing right now, you you are uh, one of the key of of the solutions uh, for for our companies. Yes, and I would like to add, merci, uh, Mohan. I would like to add that uh, EM Lyon today is the second uh, uh, second rent business school, uh, French business school for employability. It means that joining our program, you will get some jobs. And uh, <coughs> all my students, every student, each of them. Uh, is really very, very um, uh, amazed to see uh, the kind of job they can get. And they, as I said be before, they join wonderful uh, companies and they were, are really uh, uh, very surprised to see that these companies say, okay, join us because you are international business developer, we need you. Okay, you're not coming from luxury management, but we need business developers. And that's what uh, you, uh, your employer said, huh, Carla? Yeah, I know that. Okay. Uh, uh, Mar marie Christine, uh, may I add something? I mean, it's for sure, uh, AM Lyon is one of the best school. Uh, there's great students. Um, uh, but, but beyond the, the the opportunities from a business point of view, it's it's a great experience to be in Lyon. Lyon is the best city in the world for many reasons. Why? Because yes. you are like two hours from Chamonix for the for the mountains, two hours from the sea, two hours from Paris, and you have like 
twice cheaper than the price of Paris in, in terms of living. So, so it's a it's a wonderful compromise. Actually, Lyon used to be the capital of France many years ago, uh, many centuries ago, and and it's no doubt it's just a center of where is the place to be is uh, in Lyon, and um, and here in Lyon is a, is the right place. So, uh, and thank you, Mohan, because I just talked about this a few a few minutes ago. So, uh, thank you okay. for saying that. I mean. Uh, 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 at least the students understand that Lyon is a great city to be in, to live in. Um, uh, Lucia, um, would it be now the time to let our our host uh, asking the questions? Sure, of course. We already have quite a few questions on our Q and Q and A box. I would like to uh, let our participants know that they are still in time to uh, leave their questions there, and we will try to answer them all. Uh, hi, Moan. It's a pleasure to have you here. I haven't, uh, I didn't say hello to you yet. So um, we have uh, quite a few. Moan already answered one that was asking about the private sector or the public sector, um, which was a place where the graduates from this program find the, find the job the most. So we have a problem about, uh, I'm sorry, a question about admissions. How is the admission process for an international student? Can it be done from remote or do we have to be in France? I don't know, Marie Christine. Uh... I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry yes. because uh, the international connection didn't. Uh, um, don't worry, I can, I can go again. How is the admission process for an international student and can it be done from remote or do we have okay. to be in France? Okay, yes, the admission process is really very simple. You have to apply. And then once you apply, you will have to undertake uh, tests. It's not difficult tests. These tests are not difficult. Um, we just want to, um, uh, we want to, um, uh, to evaluate your motivation and also your academic background, because of course uh, we have to take this into account, and also your motivation. As I said, uh, you are going to have a digital test. You are you're going to have they are not complicated at all. You are going to have uh, some uh, question and uh, question. Uh, uh, I mean uh, interviews like uh, you will be asked like uh, uh, four or five questions, and uh, you will be evaluated by two teachers. And at the end of the line, I evaluate uh, each of the students having uh, read uh, all the evaluation beforehand. And uh, uh, I recruit personalities because uh, as Mohan could, uh, could uh, say also, being an international business developer is being a personality because when you work abroad and you are alone and you have to make decisions for your companies, uh, you have to be a personality because you have to, to cope with with many things, the entire cultural stuff, also um, the jet lag and uh, all geopolitics uh, concerns and uh, many economic concerns. And um, uh, I mean, uh, you are there and you represent your company and uh, you have to do the job. And that's why um, I am mostly recruit, I mean, I recruit personalities much more than uh, academic. Uh, uh, level. I mean, okay, academic is a, a prerequisite, but it's not the only uh, uh, the only criteria I have a look on. Yes, yeah, so everything is about uh, the soft skills, right? I'm soft sorry. The soft skills they are as important as the yes. hard skills. Yes, yes, and the yes, of course. Thank you, Marie Christine. Uh, another question on admissions: Do we need to get uh, to have a language certificate to be admitted? Um, no, you have to speak English. Okay, so but they don't no, don't need to have like a like a Cambridge certificate or TOEFL, TOEIC, IELTS. Usually, students uh, have this. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm really very sorry. Uh, yes, what I was uh, saying is, uh, okay, you have to speak English, of course, and uh, students will have some uh, French courses. And uh, so if you, I mean, if you want to, uh, to learn French, you'll be able to do it because you have some courses also. Okay, and there are courses also, this is my personal curiosity, in other languages, because uh, as I understood, Carla and Baptiste are currently in Vietnam. I don't know if they 
uh, speak English over there, or they, or if they studied Vietnamese uh, before traveling. Uh, we don't have Vietnamese class, and um, it depends on the place, but they mostly don't speak English. So we are managing it. But for at school, of course, they are speaking English. But otherwise, in the shops, um, I don't. They don't speak English. So we are. It's just challenging for us, but it, it's fun. So we try to speak Vietnamese, but it's not that yet. <laughs> okay, but it's an opportunity to to know uh to learn a new language and also the best way to get to know our culture right through through the language. Okay. Yeah, that it's, not, it's not challenging, it's stimulating, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we learn some words. It's yeah. another, another motivation. I'm pretty sure you, you will excel at it. So um, remaining on the admissions field, uh, here it says, how hard is it to find accommodation in France that's in Lyon help students so with that? Uh, I do not have any uh, foreign students right now, but uh, they could tell you that EM Lyon is really uh, uh, helping them. So uh, no worries at all. They, they are very, uh, the, the school is very helpful to, so that the student can, uh, can uh, come and rest uh, peacefully <laughs> and easily. So uh, we have a, um, a department specialized in this, so there is no problem at all. Okay, thank you, Marie Christine. Uh, then we have a couple of questions to Baptiste and Carla. Um, here it says, upon your experience, which are the main challenges of studying abroad? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Yes, the biggest challenges of studying in a foreign country. The biggest challenges of studying in a different country for Baptiste and Carla. Carla. Um, first, I would say the language, as I said before, because sometimes it's a bit, it's a bit difficult to uh, make you understand. Um, then the culture is really different. So you have to learn new things, like, for example, to cross the world, the road, like you don't have uh, red flags or like you don't follow these flags. So um, you just go. Uh, the weather also, it's really hot here. So you... At the beginning, it's a bit hard, but then um, you just get used to it. So that's okay. Uh, but for me, even if these are challenges, uh, it's mostly positive because you can travel uh, in Asia, you can discover new things and it's really stimulating. So for me, it's positive. And Baptiste, I don't know what you think. Yeah, I don't know if the if the question was for people um, abroad from France or for us, but to talk about people like abroad of friends that are coming to Lyon to study, uh, I know that even if I'm French, I know that some of my friends they find it hard because they are far from their from their culture or their family, so they have to to have a little bit of time at the beginning to discover the culture to have. Um, to yeah to have a new home a new way of living but i know that it's only like maybe one or two weeks because after like uh, marie christine said we are all together in, in class so we all speak to each other and we help them like french people in the master help a lot uh, abroad students and to to find accommodation for example or to uh, to find new places to to go out to go eat to discover the country and the city in Lyon. Which is okay. very so is that uh, in this MSc there is really a family spirit. I mean, uh, there we are all close together, and there is a, a there is a very nice ambience. And uh, no, <laughs> but, but yeah. and the students are always. Uh, I imagine they're always supported, and uh, yeah. uh, and you have a, a very as you were saying familiar community, right? Very warm and welcoming. Um, also, I know that uh, they had uh, holidays uh, to come back to their countries. And even if they could not, uh, they all did a Christmas together uh, because they were far from their family. So I know that all the foreign people were meeting for important celebrations or other things. So you're never alone. That is actually very important. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Carla and Baptiste. Um, here we have a question that actually can be answered for all the speakers in our panel. 
uh, in the international business, uh, is it better to focus on studying or in getting professional experience? What do you think? Do you want to answer, Moran? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm no longer a student, but uh, my feeling it's uh, it's a mix of both. Actually, I mean, it's not uh, either uh, just studying or either uh, just doing internships at works. I think it's a combination to apply what you learn in the real world and and be able to do a kind of iterative uh, process between uh, between school and and uh, and companies or, or experiences. And as my personal feeling, but this is just a personal one, I think we have to learn our entire life. I mean, it's it's uh, it's not just when you are just a young student. Uh, we we have to learn at different times of uh, of our life. When you are like twenty years old, when you are thirty years old, when you are forty years old, every time is an opportunity to retrain, to learn new things, and to open your mind on on on, on new uh, new challenges. Uh, and this is uh, for me uh, very important to be open minded on, on this particular aspect. I share your point of view. It's the same for me. I studied a, a doctorate. I was uh, more than uh, 40 years old and uh, uh, you never stop. I mean, uh, stopping is dying. <laughs> and uh, uh, academic is very important because you learn uh, a lot of concepts and uh, everything that has to do with strategy and operational is very important because you know how to implement. And uh, so both are really crucial and very important. So. Uh, I know that when you study, you open up your mind and uh, on a different concept and uh, paradigms. And once you work, you open up your mind on soft skills, and both are very important: art yes. skills and soft skills. <laughs> yes, uh, I will add on top of that, uh, Marie Christine, that it's very important to. Uh, um, I mean, schools uh, allows you to have processes, to have methodologies, uh, but at the end. Uh, the school is not providing all the answers. Uh, it's just giving you the tools to create the answers and solutions. And that's you can apply to, to the companies. And, uh, and that's why it's very important to remain uh, curious. That's why by going to a foreign countries is mostly helping you to know better yourself. And by learning better yourself, you are able to better support and provide solutions and services uh, by better knowing your competencies, your uh, uh, strong uh, strength, uh, your weaknesses that you need to improve. And that's at the end, it's all part of the experience of a lifetime. Thank you, Moran. Uh, I don't know if Carla and Baptiste would like to add something to, to this topic, or maybe you, you fully agree with what uh, Marie Christine and Moran have exposed. Uh, yes, I think we agree. And I just want you to add that uh, the master is a mix of the two. Because at the beginning we have the classes and all the the art skills and everything to 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 do a good project. And at the end, one of the exam at uh, every classes it's uh, a group project where where we have to um, to use what we learn from our classes. So we need to use what we learn. It's not like learning for 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 nothing. It's learning to use it. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you all and uh, with Baptiste. And I think it's really a mix of soft and hard skill because, for example, the, the school is giving you all the tools, the competencies. And uh, then, uh, for example, when, when we are at the International Seminar in Stockholm, um, we are doing network with, uh, with the directors of companies and everything. And you have to go and talk. Okay. Like the, the school cannot do it for you. You have also to have the spirit. So... Yes, and I think it's a cycle. Uh, the school um, helped me with the, with my internships and what I learned in my internship then helped me at, in my academic experience. So it's just like you need both. Yeah. Last but not least, it's, I, I do believe because I used to be a student like you guys, uh, it's also very um, um, stimulating and enriching the fact that you interact with other cultures and other people in your own promotions because... Okay, today, uh, Carla and Baptiste, maybe they didn't know each other before. Maybe they know them uh, quite well. And, and, and you are just creating a new path of networks and you are increasing your network uh, on, a, on the entire world by different cultures and so on. So it, it, it helps you also to see 
the way the other people see the world and interact or find solutions. And that's really uh, helping, I guess, also. And it's part of the process of creating those conditions by Remio. Okay, thank you very much, everyone, for um, such interesting insights on the topic. So we have a question. It doesn't specify, but I guess it is for Carla and Baptiste. What is the best thing and the worst thing about this program? Tell us everything. Um, for me, the best and the worst is the same. It's <laughs> the group works because it's really enriching, but at the same time, you can have some misunderstanding with people because you're always in group work and sometimes it's the same. And um, even for transform transforming early makers, um, you had the people that became friends and others uh, that who don't work together anymore. So I think it's like just challenging, but really fun. Um, but yeah, we, you're always working with people and that's the same in real life in the companies. So it's just like putting you in situation for later. Baptiste? Yeah, uh, for me, the best thing is um, the fact that every people that we are talking to are specialized in what they are doing. Like I, um, I was saying before about uh, negotiation or sales or international marketing, you know, everybody knows what they are talking about. And so we can talk to them and they will answer us and we'll understand what we really need. And for the worst thing, I will talk about the, uh, the amount of work that we need to work on at the end of our semesters. So we need to be organized. I wasn't like really organized at the first semester. So at the end, it was like two weeks and I had to do everything in two weeks. But so I learned for, for the second semester and I organized my, my work like in the whole semester, it was way better. But it, it's really important to, yeah, to organize the work. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Baptiste and Carla, for your sincere answers. Um, then we have another question from Bob Walter. Um, he is from Ghana, but relocated to uh, Doha. And he would like to know if he could be admitted on the program. I mean, this is a very specific question. Maybe we can leave him uh, some contact information so he can get a personal appointment to review the personal situation. Um, maybe we can put later a link or a contact email on the on the chat box for him to uh, for him to set up a personal interview if you agree, Marie Christine. Um, then I think, uh, yes, I think she she's uh, actually relocated for a little bit. So the um, the last question we have is about uh, it's also about the scholarships, but in the meantime, uh, I don't know, Mary Christine, if you if you have some information about the scholarship. Yes, of yes. course I do. Uh, the scholarship uh, is around twenty five thousand euros for uh, one year and a half. I mean, okay. uh, 15, 18 months. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So. Um, for uh, the, to set up a personal interview to uh, find out more about admissions, do we have an email address or a website they can go to? Uh, yes. I, I, I didn't get what you said, I'm sorry. Yes, sure. If any of our students would like to have a personal interview, do you have an email address or a link? Yes, of course. I, I write it down. Yes, of course. I write it down. Okay, and then, thank uh, you. I will uh, I will give you uh, I give you uh, if the students go to onto the website they will get the the references of the people um, I mean the admission uh, uh, the admission department and then they will uh, they will contact uh, they will be uh, contacting them so I will give you I'm sorry because I have to leave the place where I was. <laughs> I'm Don't sorry. worry, this is the beauty of, of the live events. Everything yeah, happens. Yeah, because I was, uh, I was in, a, in a room where suddenly people pulled in, so I was about to leave. Okay. <laughs> I, I give you my email address. Okay. So in the meantime, well, uh, Marie-Christine uh, puts uh, right down the email address for everyone to uh, 
to write it down, I would like to ask uh, Baptiste, Carla, Mohan, and later on Marie Christine to uh, leave a final message to our participants uh, here today to encourage them to join this uh, program uh, from MNIO. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so I can just tell you not to hesitate because. Uh, there's a lot of different profiles in the master, so you can never like don't fit in if uh, you know what you can bring to that and uh, if you're really passionate and engaged. And uh, Marie-Christine says that she's uh, always looking for personalities and uh, soft skills more than everything. So like don't hesitate and just be yourself. Thank you, Carla. Baptiste? Yeah, I think the the best the best uh, sentence to summary it all is like if you want to to discover new people, new uh, nationalities, new cultures, a new way of working, it's the master to be. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Baptiste Morin. Um, well, it's uh, I, I don't fully know the program, but what I can tell you is that uh, from a student that I've actually uh, recruited from OEM Lyon. Uh, they are just amazing people, very open-minded, and, and uh, they are key in the success of our companies. So at the end of the day, it's all about stimulating both your mind and heart. And I think this is a place to be. So uh, so welcome to, to France and welcome to Lyon. Thank you, Morin. So for everyone, I just put the Mary Christine's email address on the chat. So if you would like to set up a personal interview for further information, you can send that her uh, an email. I'm pretty sure she will be more yes. than happy to, to talk to you. So, Marie-Christine, would you yes, like to I'm give a final tell. message? Yes, I would like to tell all of you, do not hesitate, join us. <laughs> uh, join us, you will enjoy, you learn a lot, you will enjoy a lot. And uh, at the end of the line, you'll be uh, free to, uh, to have a wonderful professional life because uh, uh, this program allow a lot, uh, gives you a lot of opportunities in any fields, in any country. And it's also a good way to meet people and enjoy uh, working with uh, international people. <laughs> and have fun. <laughs> Sure, of course. Thank you very much, Marie Christine. So I would like just to add that uh, if your participants would like to have the um, the certificate of attendance issued by Doxity, you need to send your request to webinar at doxity.com, specifying the webinar you're referring to, first and last name, and your email address you use to participate to this webinar. Um, finally, I would like to thank uh, our participants for joining us uh, here today. And of course, to our fantastic panel, Marie Christine, Baptiste, Carla, Morin, thank you very much for your availability, for being here, and yes, for this thank precious you to you. Thank you information. To so, thank you very much, all, and we're looking forward to meet you up again in the next webinar organized by Doxity and MDO Business. Have a nice day. Thank you so much to all Goodbye. of you for your, your, for your time and in, interest. Thank you so much, for Mor uh, Thank you so much, Moran. Thank you so much, Baptiste and Carla also. Thank you. Bye-bye, all of you. Bye. Bye.